how 24 famous people died. Marilyn Monroe was an iconic American actress, model, and singer who became a major sex symbol, cultural icon, and one of the most famous people of the 20th century. Some key facts about Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen in 1926, she had a difficult childhood in the foster care system before becoming a model and then breaking into acting in the 1940s. She starred in numerous hit films in the 1950s, such as Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, The Seven Year Itch, and Some Like It Hot, cementing her status as a major Hollywood star. Known for her distinctive blonde bombshell look and persona, she exemplified 1950s glamour and sex appeal. Marilyn Monroe died on August 5, 1962 at the age of 36. The official cause of death was an overdose of barbiturates. Specifically, she died from an overdose of the sleeping medication Nembutal. The circumstances surrounding her death have been the subject of much speculation, but the official ruling was that her death was likely a result of accidental overdose. She was found dead in her home in Los Angeles, California. Anton Yelchin was an American actor who had a promising career cut short. He was known for his roles in films like Star Trek, Terminator Salvation, and Alpha Dog. Yelchin had a natural talent and charisma on screen that made him stand out. He is remembered fondly by fans and peers alike. Anton Yelchin died in a freak automobile accident in 2016 at the age of 27. He was killed when his Jeep Grand Cherokee rolled down his driveway and pinned him against a brick mailbox post and security fence at his home in Los Angeles. The cause of the accident was later determined to be a design flaw in the Jeep's gear shift system, which had led to several similar incidents. Yelchin's unexpected and tragic death was widely mourned by his family, friends, and fans. Michael Jackson was an American singer, songwriter, and dancer. Dubbed the King of Pop, he is regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Over a four-decade career, his contributions to music, dance, and fashion, along with his publicized personal life, made him a global figure in popular culture. Michael Jackson died on June 25, 2009 at the age of 50. The official cause of death was ruled as acute propofol intoxication and benzodiazepine intoxication. Michael's personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, had administered the powerful anesthetic propofol to help Jackson sleep the night he died. This was determined to be the primary cause of his death. Dr. Murray was later convicted of involuntary manslaughter for his role in Michael Jackson's death. Bruce Lee was a legendary martial artist, actor, and filmmaker. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential martial artists of all time, and his impact on popular culture is immeasurable. Lee was known for his lightning-fast reflexes, powerful kicks, and innovative fighting style that blended elements of different martial arts traditions. He starred in several iconic films, including Enter the Dragon and The Way of the Dragon, which helped to popularize martial arts movies in the West. Bruce Lee died on July 20, 1973 at the age of 32. The official cause of death was cerebral edema, which is a swelling of the brain. The exact cause of the cerebral edema is still debated, but it is believed to be related to an allergic reaction to a medication he was taking. Some theories suggest it may have been caused by a prescription painkiller he was using, but the details are still unclear. Bruce Lee's death was sudden and unexpected, and it shocked his many fans around the world. Elvis Presley was the king of rock and roll. He was an iconic American singer, actor, and cultural icon who had a massive impact on popular music and culture. Known for his unique voice, energetic stage presence, and good looks, Presley became one of the most famous and influential musicians of the 20th century. Elvis Presley died on August 16, 1977 at his Graceland estate in Memphis, Tennessee. The official cause of death was cardiac arrhythmia, which is an irregular heartbeat that can be fatal. Contributing factors included prescription drug abuse and an enlarged heart. Elvis had a long history of health problems, including glaucoma, liver damage, and an unhealthy dependence on prescription medications. His death at the age of 42 was sudden and unexpected, shocking fans around the world. Ray Liotta was an American actor best known for his roles in films like Goodfellas, 
Field of Dreams, and Hannibal. He had a long and successful career in Hollywood, often playing tough, no-nonsense characters. Leota was a talented and versatile actor who could bring a lot of intensity and grit to his performances. He will be remembered as one of the great character actors of his generation. Leota died in his sleep on May 26, 2022 at age 67 in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic during the filming of Dangerous Waters. At the time of his death, he was engaged to J.C. Nitolo. An autopsy report released in 2023 concluded that Leota's cause of death was respiratory failure, pulmonary edema, and heart failure. Kobe Bryant was an American professional basketball player who spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers in the National Basketball Association, NBA. He was known for his incredible skill, competitive drive, and iconic status in the sport of basketball. Bryant was an 18-time NBA All-Star, 5-time NBA Champion, and 2-time NBA Finals MVP. He was also the NBA's most valuable player in 2008 and a 2-time Olympic gold medalist. Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash on January 26, 2020. Bryant was traveling with his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and seven other people when the helicopter they were in crashed into a hillside in Calabasas, California. All nine people aboard the helicopter were killed in the accident. Reports suggest that poor weather conditions was a contributing factor. Paul Walker was an American actor who rose to fame for his role as Brian O'Connor in the Fast and the Furious film franchise. He was known for his charming personality and impressive acting skills. Paul Walker died on November 30, 2013 at the age of 40. He was a passenger in a Porsche Carrera GT driven by his friend and financial advisor Roger Rodas when the vehicle lost control, struck a concrete lamppost, and burst into flames. Both Walker and Rodas died in the fiery single car crash. River Phoenix was an American actor who rose to fame in the 1980s and early 1990s. Some key facts about River Phoenix, he was born in 1970 and died in 1993 at the young age of 23. He received critical acclaim for his acting in films like Stand By Me, My Own Private Idaho, and Running On Empty, for which he was nominated for an Academy Award. He was known for his intense method acting approach and commitment to his roles. His untimely death at the peak of his career was a major tragedy, and he is considered one of the greatest actors of his generation. River Phoenix died on October 31, 1993, at the age of 23. He suffered a drug overdose outside the Viper Room Club in West Hollywood, California. Paramedics were called but were unable to revive him, and he was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. His death was ruled an accidental overdose. Jim Morrison was the lead singer of the iconic rock band The Doors. Known for his poetic and sometimes controversial lyrics, Morrison's charismatic stage presence and deep, powerful voice made him one of the most influential and iconic figures in rock music history. Despite his untimely death, Morrison's legacy as a talented and enigmatic artist continues to captivate music fans around the world. Jim Morrison died in Paris, France on July 3, 1971 at the age of 27, the official cause of death was listed as heart failure, but the exact circumstances surrounding his death remain mysterious and controversial. The lack of an autopsy has led to numerous theories and speculation about how Morrison actually died, but the true cause has never been conclusively determined. John Ritter was an American actor best known for his starring role in the sitcom Three's Company. He had a long and successful career in television, film, and theater. Some key facts about John Ritter, born in 1948 in Burbank, California, broke out as a star with his role as Jack Tripper on Three's Company in the late 1970s, early 1980s, also starred in films like Problem Child and Noises Off, continued acting in TV shows like Hooperman and Eight Simple Rules later in his career. John Ritter died on September 11, 2003, at the age of 54. The cause of his death was an aortic dissection a tear in the main artery carrying blood out of the heart. Ritter had been rushed to the hospital after falling ill on the set of his TV show, Eight Simple Rules. Despite undergoing emergency surgery, he died later that day due to complications from the aortic dissection. 
Otis Redding was an American singer-songwriter who is considered one of the greatest soul artists of all time. Some of his most famous songs include Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Try a Little Tenderness, and Respect. Redding had a powerful, emotive voice, and his music had a huge influence on the development of soul and R&B. Otis Redding died in a plane crash on December 10, 1967. He was 26 years old at the time. Redding was flying from Cleveland, Ohio, to a concert in Madison, Wisconsin, when his private plane crashed into Lake Monona near Madison. All seven people on board, including Redding, were killed in the accident. Lucille Ball was a pioneering American comedian, actress, and television executive. She is best known for her groundbreaking sitcom, I Love Lucy, which she starred in and co-produced. Ball's comedic talents and physical comedy skills made her one of the most iconic entertainers of the 20th century. She paved the way for women in television and left an enduring legacy that continues to influence and inspire comedians today. Lucille Ball died on April 26, 1989 at the age of 77. The cause of her death was an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Adrienne Shelley was an American actress, screenwriter, and director. She is best known for her roles in independent films, such as The Unbelievable Truth and Trust, and for writing and directing the acclaimed 2007 film, Waitress. Shelley had a promising career cut short at the age of 40. Adrienne Shelley was tragically murdered in 2006 at the age of 40. She was found hanging in the bathroom of her New York City apartment. Initially, it was thought she took her own life. However, further investigation revealed that she had been murdered by a construction worker who was working in her building. The man confessed to the crime and was sentenced to life in prison. Freddie Prince was an American actor and comedian best known for his starring role in the 1970s sitcom Chico and the Man. He was born in 1954 in New York City and rose to fame in the mid-1970s with his charming on-screen persona and comedic talents. Freddie Prince took his own life on January 29, 1977 at the age of 22. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. James Dean was an American actor who became a cultural icon of teenage disillusionment and social estrangement in the 1950s. He starred in several films that are now considered classics, including East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, and Giant. James Dean died in a car crash on September 30, 1955. He was 24 years old at the time. Dean was driving his Porsche Spider, nicknamed Little Bastard, when he collided with another car at an intersection near Chalame, California. He was pronounced dead on arrival at a nearby hospital. Christopher Reeve was an American actor best known for playing the role of Superman in the Superman film series. He was a talented and versatile actor who starred in many other films throughout his career. Reeve was also an advocate for people with spinal cord injuries after he was paralyzed in a horse riding accident in 1995. He worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funding for spinal cord injury research until his death in 2004. Christopher Reeve died on October 10, 2004 at the age of 52. He passed away from heart failure as a result of a systemic infection. Carrie Fisher was best known for her role as Princess Leia in the Star Wars film franchise. Fisher had a long and acclaimed career in Hollywood, starring in numerous films and TV shows. She was also an accomplished writer, penning several semi-autobiographical novels and memoirs. Carrie Fisher, the actress best known for playing Princess Leia in the Star Wars films, died on December 27, 2016 at the age of 60. The cause of her death was cardiac arrest. She had suffered a heart attack on a flight from London to Los Angeles a few days earlier and died after being hospitalized. Marvin Gaye was an American singer, songwriter, and record producer who is regarded as one of the most influential artists of his time. He is often referred to as the Prince of Soul and helped shape the sound of Motown in the 1960s with hits like Sexual Healing, Let's Get It On, and I Heard It Through the Grapevine. Marvin Gaye died on April 1, 1984. He was shot and killed by his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., during an argument at their home in Los Angeles. Gaye's father shot him twice, once in the chest and once in the heart and Marvin Gaye died shortly after at the age of 44. 
John Eric Hexum was an American actor who tragically died in 1984 at the young age of 26. He was a rising star best known for his roles in the television series Cover Up and the 1984 film Voyager. Hexum's death was the result of a bizarre on-set accident. While filming a scene, he jokingly placed a 44 Magnum revolver loaded with blank cartridges to his head and pulled the trigger. The force of the blank cartridge drove pieces of his skull into his brain, causing massive hemorrhaging. He was pronounced brain dead six days later. Chadwick Boseman was an incredibly talented actor who left us far too soon. His portrayal of iconic figures like Jackie Robinson, James Brown, and T'Challa in Black Panther was nothing short of remarkable. Bozeman had a magnetic screen presence and brought depth and humanity to every role he played. Chadwick Bozeman tragically died in 2020 at the age of 43 following a private struggle with colon cancer. Eddie Cochran was an American musician and singer-songwriter who was a pioneer of rock and roll music in the 1950s. He is best known for hits like Summertime Blues, Come On Everybody, and Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Cochran's guitar playing and songwriting style were highly influential on the development of rock music. Eddie Cochran died in a car accident on April 17, 1960, at the age of 21. He was a rising rock and roll star at the time, known for hits like Summertime Blues and Come On Everybody. Cochran was a passenger in a taxi cab that crashed in Chippenham, Wiltshire, England. He suffered severe head injuries in the accident and died the following day at a hospital. John F. Kennedy Jr. was the son of President John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline Kennedy. He was born in 1960 and tragically died in a plane crash in 1999 at the age of 38. Kennedy Jr. was known for his work as a magazine publisher. He was often referred to as John John by the media and the public. Despite his famous lineage, he tried to live a relatively normal life before his untimely death. John F. Kennedy Jr. died in a plane crash on July 16, 1999. He was en route to a family wedding and piloting a small plane from New Jersey to Martha's Vineyard when the plane crashed into the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Massachusetts. Kennedy, his wife Carolyn, and his sister-in-law Lauren Bassett were all killed in the accident. The National Transportation Safety Board determined that the probable cause of the crash was Kennedy's failure to maintain control of the aircraft during a descent over water at night, which led to spatial disorientation and loss of control. He had not planned to fly at night but his sister-in-law was three hours late, forcing him to take off much later than planned. Frank Sinatra was an American singer, actor, and producer who was one of the most popular and influential musical artists of the 20th century. Known for his smooth, crooning vocals and his iconic stage presence, Sinatra rose to fame in the 1940s and 1950s, becoming a cultural icon and one of the best-selling music artists of all time. Some key facts about Frank Sinatra, born in 1915 in Hoboken, New Jersey, Sinatra got his start singing with the Hoboken Four. He released his first solo album, The Voice of Frank Sinatra, in 1946, and went on to release dozens of acclaimed albums over the next several decades. Sinatra starred in numerous films, including classics like From Here to Eternity, Guys and Dolls, and Ocean's Eleven. He won multiple Grammy Awards and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in From Here to Eternity. He remained an active performer until his retirement in the 1990s. Frank Sinatra died on May 14, 1998, at the age of 82. He passed away at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles after suffering a heart attack. Thanks for watching our video on how 24 famous people died. From Frank Sinatra to Michael Jackson to Paul Walker, we've taken a candid look across the decades at the lives and impact of these iconic figures. These celebrities touched the lives of millions through their talent, charisma, and sheer force of personality. While their passing was deeply felt, their work and influence live on. This video serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of making the most of the time we have. Whether you grew up with these stars or discovered them later in life, their stories continue to captivate and inspire. We hope this retrospective has given you a chance to reflect on their legacies and the indelible mark they've left on our culture.